Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Now, I want to finally talk about all my fountain pens that I got in May and I'm happy to announce that I have finally, finally inked them all up. Anyway, here are my all my fountain pens that I bought in May. Um, I miscounted when I posted that video, that first video the other day. I said in the video that I got 27 pens, but it's actually 33. So I have corrected that because I forgot to list the ones that I got from Hong Kong from Muse Pens. Let me show you this. Um, I got this um, May 1st. This is the Mont Blanc Writer's Edition homage to Robert Louis Stevenson. This is inked with the ink that's made for it the homage to stevenson that's what it says on the order form that i got um it's homage to robert louis stevenson brown so that's the name of the ink and this one is the sailor pro gear slim fan pen spring sky with a 14k extra fine nib when I saw it at first and like way, way back, I'm like, I'm mm, not really into like the dark color body or a dark pink or something, but the nib is so beautiful. And also I changed my mind about the colors, you know, the color combination. I thought it was really pretty and this writes really lovely. So anyway, this is the pilot. Custom 823 Smoke. I love my Amber so much. It's one of my top favorite pens. So I decided, you know what? Why don't I, why don't I get the other colors, right? And then, so I ordered this and this is inked with a Mont Blanc Midnight Blue ink. And I love it, it's perfect. I'm going to start writing with the pens that I showed. So this is the Mont Blanc. Um, let's do this. Love this paper, by the way. This is by Midori. This is Midori MD A4, size A4 grid. Anyhow, so this is the Mont Blanc. Oh, geez, this is going to be a long video. Mont Blanc. Oh, okay, I made a mistake. But I fixed it. Writer's Edition. Well, I love writing the full name, but sometimes I forget, so unless I look at my cheat sheet, my um, swatch notebook. So let's write. I'm trying to write super fast. <laughs> Ra, um, what is it? Robert. This is um, a nib thickness that I actually do not mind because it's not super round. Unlike my Pilot um, soft flex nib, that one's too round for my taste. Robert Louise Stevenson. Fine. Fine nib. There you go. So, this is so beautiful. One of my treasures, definitely. Um... And then this one is Spring Sky. So I got these two oh, to 
together. I think I got it from Colt Pens. And they shipped really fast and they came really fast. They sh uh, they shipped it through DHL. And DHL is like three to four days, three to four business days. And I think I ordered it on a weekend or something. So it kind of took a little longer, but not that bad. So this is the Sailor Pro Gear. See that um, nib writes really, really fine. And it's like, to me, that's perfect. Okay, this thing is shaking. Pro Gear Slim Spring Sky. I don't know why my camera's not focusing on this. It's focusing on here. Can I change that? I'm not sure. Let's see, let's try this. Spring Sky. Extra fine. Um, what did I ink this pen with? Let's find out. It's it's like a combination of these two, right? The shade of the ink. So that's the Noodler's Su Su Saguaro Wine. Oh yeah, it's a wine color. It's a wine shade. It's I like it. Yeah, so Pilot Custom 74. Extra fine as well. And this has the clear demonstrator body. Pilot Custom 74. Clear. Extra fine. This even writes thinner than the Sailor Extra Fine that I used earlier. See that? Really love this pen. Um, I love the simplicity of it, and I love demonstrator pens. So that is that. And then the other day I re-inked or I changed the ink in this pen. The original ink was Noodler's Brevity Blue Black. But now wait. I forgot what I, what I changed it to. Um, ink change for the blue bronze. This is Colorverse Fountain. Um, well, I don't have to read that. Colorverse Witch by Starlight. It's a Goulet exclusive. This is a Twisby. It still writes thick. It's the bronze nib, I guess. I don't know. Twisby. Eco, oh crap, I made a mistake, okay. Eco, wait, what is this? Indigo, indigo, blue bronze. I don't know if you're hearing my tummy, but I'm fasting, so. I'm trying to, um, oh crap to bring my body to like ketosis mode again. Um, yeah, I have to keep up with my diet because I have hypothyroidism. So if I like, I, and I've been craving sugar lately, like chocolates, oh my God. But that is this pen, right? Did I pick the perfect ink for it? I think so. So now here's a pen I'm not crazy about. I love the feel of it. I love the color. I don't love the nib. Why did I choose this nib? But I am trying to adapt to it. Uh, I'm just not using the flexibility, the flex feature of the pen. And this is the Pilot. What is it? Custom, I think seven, four, three. So I'm just kind of using the, um, I'm not using it to flex. There you go. Seven, four, three, 
verdigris. Um, Falcon. I love calligraphy, so I dreamt of using a flexible nib on fountain pens because I feel like it's going to be easier. You don't have to keep dipping and dipping and dipping with a um, dip pen. But yeah, I love this pen with, you know, like the way it looks, you know, the gold. Love it. But I wish I got an extra fine. Oh, well. Anyway, you'll see I have a extra fine version of this pen in a different color in a bit. So our next pen is... Oh, by the way, this is inked with Diamine Ink Vent Serendipity Ink. This is the Pilot Custom 74. Now that the last pen was this. And yeah, I made a mistake right there. Gaveco Spore. This writes really beautifully. Look at that nib. Love this pen, actually. Sport Piston. Piston. Filler. Extra fine. And this is inked with Sailor Manio Kuzu. It's a limited edition ink by Sailor. Um, I got it from, where did I get it from? I think I got it from Jet Pens. Yeah. I mean, no, not Jet Pens. I got it from Goulet Pens. Sorry about that. So now our next pen is the Kaveco Pearl. And this is inked with Diamine Sepia ink. I think it's perfect for it because I don't have a reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying because. But this loves really lovely too. Look at that. Vacos Port. Just gonna. Pearl. Extra fine as well. Excuse my penmanship if it doesn't look good to you because I'm writing it super quickly. And when I do that, I mess up. So, so this is a Twisby Eco. Okay, well, this is fun. Um, after this, we can definitely um, count all the pens from this paper where I'm writing each one of them and then we'll find out together how many pens I actually really got mint blue extra fine so um, I have two of these pens because the other one has a stub nib and I love how eco T pens right um, so I got an extra fine and I resisted for so long because I'm like, I don't need two of those colors or whatever, but here it is and I don't regret it. I'm glad I, I made that decision, but, um, this is our next pen. I changed the ink in this pen. So, um, yeah, I, I cleaned the cap too. I don't know if I showed in the other video that the cap got really dirty. But this is the Twisby Eco. So I got all kinds of um, Twisby Eco pens just because um, it's the only pens that could take shimmery inks. White rose gold. I love the um, rose gold. All right, rose gold. Extra fine. But this one writes thick. So maybe, I don't know. I want to experience getting a, a Twisby Eco pen um, 
what, what is it called? Is it called grinded or, you know, like when they kind of make it thinner or whatever. But yeah, this is inked with Magenta Flash by Diamine. And the original ink was a Tobacco Sunburst. And I thought it was perfect the moment it still is it still looks like it but I feel like I like it better with the shimmery one this is shimmery supposedly you can see all the shimmer right there so that's what I love one thing that I love the most about Twisby pens is you can see the ink in here you can see it through that window so now we have the smoke rose gold by Twisby as well and look at that the original ink was flamingo pink by diamine can you tell how much i love the dime um diamine inks it's just i don't know i've always loved it um where am i where is that page i can't find it um Trying to see, what did I ink it with? Oh, uh, wait, no. For some reason, oh yeah, I did write it. It's right there. It's the Golden Ivy. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, guys. If you haven't tried Twisby Eco with Diamond, Diamond Shimmer Tastic inks, try it because it's the only shimmery ink that works with a Twisby Eco Extra Fine. And, oh, made a mistake, whatever, smoke, rose gold. See, it's flowing so beautifully. And I realized that because I have two Twisby Ecos with the Diamond Shimmer Tastic one. Um, extra fine. And, um, they're not clogging the feed or the nib. They're writing so beautifully. So, yeah. Um, and then we go here now. We are with the Nagasawa Original Vanishing Point Decimo. Kobe Gradiation Kai Gun Stone Gray Gold Trim Extra Fine Nib Limited Edition. It's a really long name. But that's the ink that I inked it with. It's a diamine lavender. So pretty. So this is. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Nagasawa. I don't know why it says original. Is the are the other ones fake? <laughs> Just kidding. Vanishing point. I'm not going to write the whole name of this pen. We just know what it is. I just wanted to show how it writes. So since it's an extra fine you know, um, and pilot uh, vanishing point pens, especially the decimal ones have, actually not specially, but like they're all the same. They all write really thin and love it. I love it. Um, if you're not into extra fine, I understand. It's fine. Um, I admire people that can, um, that love, um, other nibs because I tried them and I only like thinner nibs. So here is the Yoseka Sailor collaboration, I guess. Yoseka... And this is inked with the same ink with the Mont Blanc. It's the Mont Blanc um, homage to Stevenson Brown. I just shortcutted Sailor. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want the full size of this pen as well because the 
pro gear um, large size feels so much better in my hand pro gear slim home extra fine Oh my gosh, There's, it's heaven to write with this pen. It's so lovely. Look at that um, nib. It's gold, it's two-tone, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, it's really beautiful. And again, this is inked with a Mont Blanc. Hamish, Robert, Louis, Stevenson, Brown. There you go. Now, Along with that order, I also got this. And I love Y Studio fountain pens. I have a pen pal friend that I've been friends with, pen pals with, for like almost 10 years as well. And she loves Y Studio pens. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I am a fountain pen lover now. I wanna try all the good ones. So this is the Y Studio. This is this one's easy. I know the name of it. Classic. And this has a fine nib. And I don't mind it. I love it. Fountain pen green. And I have um couple sailors a few sailors with fine nib and it's fine I love it so there's that I love 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 this pen and I have the brass one too which is the reason why I got this I'm thinking of getting the black one as well but we'll see Let's see I love these pens all right now, our next pen is, oh gosh, okay now, I don't have any more um, writings like this about the other pens or the next pens because I didn't ink it for a long time to so I could record a video and I feel like it's a great content, so. What I did was I just wrote everything here, which I feel like I didn't, I still didn't write everything. But let's count all these things. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's 13 pens so far. Now, hmm. So it says here, I got the decimal. May 15th, Twisby Eco. Oh, so I guess they should go down here, but whatever. Next one is that, and the next one is, are these two? I'm, just, I'm like showing you things and you're not even seeing it. But okay, so made a mistake there. Like I interchanged these two, but anyhow. Um, that's just my own organization. I'll just reorganize it later. This is the next, these are the next two pens. The Sailor Perot Gear, Sparkling Emerald. I love all my pens. Um, Sailor Pro Gear. This is a, this is not a slim. Pearl gear sparkling emerald I love 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 this pen it writes so smoothly see I made a mistake because I'm talking while writing sparkling emerald extra fine extra Oh my gosh, and I finally, finally inked it. I inked it, yes, was it yesterday? 
I don't think it was yesterday. No, it was Friday. Today is Sunday. Um, yesterday, I wanted to film this video, but I got so busy. I was doing a lot of stuff. Um, so this is inked with... Ackerman? P.W. Ackerman? Yeah, it's blue-green. but I don't know how to read that, but I know it's blue-green because it said it on the website of Van Ness, where I got it from. So now the next pen, I won't be able to write with it because I haven't inked it. Um, maybe. Oh, wait, I forgot to write with this pen. I forgot this one. Okay, let's add it so when we count, it will be more accurate. Um, this is the pilot. Custom. A two three smoke. I love the way this writes. It's so smooth. It's so perfect. It's like it just everything just flows really perfectly. And then I'm just gonna use this pen to write the name of the other one, the clear. On um, Japanese sites, it's called transparent. Eight two three. So I'll just put transparent. Why is it so difficult to talk while writing, right? There you go. So, this is the clear, and I'm so excited to ink it with. I want to ink it with um, the ink that I'm getting soon. It'll be here tomorrow, it says, on the tracking. So, maybe I'll do an inking video with this pen tomorrow. Or, um, actually, I have an idea of uh, what I want to film next, but maybe I'll ink up all my pens first before I do that. So now we're done with that. And then we have these four. The, wait, no, three. These three. Oh my gosh. I love, I love these pens. So this is the Hachimojiya, the Sailor Hachimojiya Koba, Ko, wait, Kubo Zakura. Like, it's, it's completely my taste. Like, look at my nails. They kind of match. Maybe I'll get like that kind of shade next time on the tip. Ombre again in this. So yeah. Um, I'm talking about my nails when I get my manicure done next um so this is the sailor and i ink this with bunga box bunga box i don't know how you ever say that um mother sailor pro gear this is the large pro gear too hatchy Gia Kubo Zakura. So this has oh, a really beautiful um, cherry blossom, sakura flower. And did you guys know that there are cherry blossom trees in San Francisco? Um, Japan town. I was there during the cherry blossom season in April. Oh my god. Me and my friend Debbie, um, we met for the first time um, when I went there um, and we stole some sakura flowers. <laughs> it's so hilarious when that was happening, but we had fun. We had so much fun. And I made her laugh so much. I saw her. She's kind of shy, but 
yeah it's so amazing and i've she's been my friend for like almost 10 years she's like one of my ogs from my original instagram account so the next one is the mini it's so funny because it's like small medium large look at that so this is the mini this is the pro gear slim and this is a pro gear see the difference but the mini is a little fatter so yeah it's pretty and I thought this was a Thumbelina by Bunga Box, but it's not. And I wish it was. And there's a little ribbon, I guess. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a ribbon to me. On the nib. This is extra fine, of course. And this is called the... Oh, gosh. Okay. The names are a little difficult. Sailor... Pro Gear Mini. This um, nib writes a little, oh crap, a little differently. It's more scratchy than this one. This one's really soft or smooth. This one's really scratchy and you can feel it. And I get goosebumps every time. You know what I'm saying? Like. All this like if you scratch your nails on paper oh my god i'm like cringe like it's so cringy to me <laughs> so that's how i kind of feel with scratchy pens sometimes but um i don't know so this is pro gear mini kukurizaru kukurizaru Yep, extra fine. I didn't write extra fine on the other one, but we'll just let it go since we know all my pens are extra fine anyway. So yeah. Um, they also had a pink version of this, but when I ordered this pen, they were already sold out of the pink. So yeah, it's so sad for me, but if they had the pink, I would've ordered it too. I wouldn't mind having two of the same pens. Like I'm, I've always been that way even with clothes like if i like a certain shirt i would get it in different colors just the colors that i would wear i on i only wear like neutral colors like black white um, beige you know pink i wear pink because i love pink so yeah so i'm the same way with, with my pens oh by the way this pen i read that they only made 70 pieces so I'm one of those 70 people that has this pen. Um, I think I'm right about that, but, um, oh yeah, it's, um, written on the website of the shop that I got it from, which is Izumi Pens. So I was like, what? Oh my God, I'm glad I said I want it. So yeah, I'm so glad I bought this and... Wait, I forgot to tell you what I inked that with. Oh, this is the Vinta Inks Makopa. Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Slim. Yukimi. That's the name of it. And the description is transparent with color polarizing resin with 21k bio color nib extra fun now the next ones are oh my gosh i love how these pens write the fountain pen of the year celeste so glad i got them both so yeah let's watch it Ooh, crap Oh my god, I almost dropped it. That's scary. Alright, so let's see. Oh yeah, um, you'll see a lot of green inks coming up with my sailor pens. So I decided to ink both of these with green because my um, fountain pen of the year pens from last year 
have green ink in it. So I kind of made it uniform, but different, um, different colors, different brands. Yeah, so Sailor Pro Gear, Celestial Gray. I'll just put Fountain Pen of the Year, 2024. So the um the ones from last year they're 1911s not uh, I guess they're different um, they're you know from the pro gear So there and this is inked with the Peter Pan um let's see I have a cheat sheet over here Oh no, never mind. It is the Sailor Manio Ukikusa. There you go. And the other one, this one, the Slim, is inked with the Maiko, the Kobe Maiko Green. So let's swatch it so you see how it writes. I'm gonna get better at this, I swear, I promise. I'll try my best to find the best angle for like when I'm writing something. Pro Gear Slim. Celestial Gray. Just do this so it's not too long. Fountain pen. Uh, oh my gosh, I love writing with this pen. And I love this ink. Oh my gosh, it's my first Kobe ink and I want more. So I just got one to try and it's in my favorite fountain pen ink color. And I love it. The next ones are endless pens it's these two and i think i inked one with the ink that it came with did i let me see um oh yeah so the grass one is this and this is moss and I inked it with the Koki Sailor Manio Koki ink. Now, what is this called? Actually, let's do the, the green one first because the last ones are green. So, I have green stuff. Let's see. Oh, uh, this has a fine nib, and I don't mind it. <laughs> Love it still. Pro Gear Slim. See that I can write fast and there's no issue at all. Manual. Grass. So this is just going to be a shorter name. Shorter version of the name. Oh, extra fine. I always um, post my pens when it's postable. Extra fine. There you go. And that's inked with the Sap Green by Ackerman. So, Sailor. Look at that blue, though. Love it. It's like a baby blue, like a Cinderella blue. Pro Gear Slim. Manual. Moss. And um, I got 
these two pens. It's such a good deal. $97 each and they're already a set. Came with ink as well. So yeah, if you watched my unboxing, you'll see it there. Oh my gosh, we're getting to a really exciting one, which is this. I'm so excited about this and this. So these two came from Van Ness. I got these from Van Ness. This is the, the one that I originally went on their website for. And then I saw this, so I'm like, I want it. I love demonstrator pens. So this is the Twisby Diamond 580 iceberg blue and i kept on saying fire blue suns like one of my videos but please excuse me and this is um this has such a pretty blue ink in it and it's a wet i think it's a wet ink i don't know um, but it's okay <laughs> i really don't know but uh, it seems wet to me diamond I love writing with Twisby diamond ink. I mean, diamond pens. AL, extra fine. Oh, crap, I forgot to write. Um, iceberg blue, iceberg blue. It's so pretty you know what i inked it with it's a bunga box cinderella slipper and it's so perfect because it's like it's the same color so this is the nagasawa fountain pen gears gearski gears i have no idea gold but it's a demonstrator pen and it has a really smooth extra fine nib i love the way this writes it's just my taste so this is the Nagasawa. it's so funny how like every time i say nagasawa there is this um tagalog word where you say nagasawa and that means the person got married so whenever I say Nagasawa, Nagasawa, it sounds the same as Nagasawa, right? So, and just simply means the person got married. Like, Nagasawa Nasha. Oh, she got married or he got married. Something like that. Anyhow, just a little, you know, whatever. Nagasawa Gierski? Gierski? I really have no idea how to say this. You're scared. And yeah, I'm bilingual. Gold. I love this ink. Extra fine. And oh my god, this nib though. Uh, the writing experience. It's orgasmic. <laughs> anyway, this ink is... Robert Oster Bronze. Right there. Oh my god, it's the perfect ink for it. And I'm so happy about that. So now, what's our next? Our next one is... This is the Pilot Custom 743 in black. So this is just the same as the Verdigree one, but in extra fine, and I like this so much better. But this is the Pilot. Oh my gosh. That ink. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Just kidding, but like, oh. So pretty. 743. And the ink is 
is the same as the verdigris. I just wanted to see how it writes in an extra fine, with an extra fine nib. See, so it's the same. You're gonna see, um, like, you're gonna see that it's more saturated, more pigmented with this nib, obviously, because this nib is really, really fine. So that's, that's a difference, but you get the idea. The color is still really, really beautiful. See, that's a close up right there. Isn't it so gorgeous? And this is with extra fine. It's still really, really beautiful. And I love it so much. So that's that. And then next one. Wait, that's that wasn't supposed to be the next one. Actually, the next ones are supposed to be these. So let's just do these right now. I took this out too for some reason. Um, I was just playing with it earlier. But yeah, this was this is my first um, Platinum Century 3776 Shape of Heart. Um, it's a friendship pen with chain. Our first, our very first friendship pen. Because now we have... Oh my god, Jane, how many friendship pens do we have now? Three, I think. One is that, and then the Mont Blanc, and then... No, actually, the second one was a Pelican, Pelican, I don't know, people are saying it differently, but Pelican Rose Quartz, yeah, so yeah, it's the pink, pink one, M200 Rose Quartz, I think, yeah, well, anyway, this is the Platinum Chai Latte, I love it, I love it, look at that, isn't she pretty? Isn't she lovely? Just kidding. <laughs> so this is the... So I inked it with a pink. See, I can't write <laughs> while... while talking. <laughs> what is platinum? Um, okay, let me write this first. Platinum. Three seven seven six century chai latte. If you watched my um haul video or haul unboxing video, you will know the story about this. But um, I inked all my um shape of heart pens with pink ink because my first one i inked it with robert oster cherry blossom and i love it so but this one i'm not crazy about this color ink and this is the kasumosu the fall cherry blossom i like the way it wrote here and here it's showing so bright. It's like way brighter. Do you see what I'm seeing? Like how, like, see, that's the one from when I swatched it first. And then, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Wait, let's do a close up. So see how it's not that bright there. I think it's the paper as well. This is way brighter here. Now you see what I'm saying to be close up so yeah so i think it's a type of paper because this is cotton midori cotton paper then this is the regular midori what is this called just the regular midori paper let's try it on a tomoe river paper um okay i want to see how it writes here if it's going to be that bright as well so Oh, it's not that bad. Hmm. I really like the way it writes on a tomoe with the paper. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. 
So I haven't found the heart that you're supposed to be finding in here. I don't know if they're diamonds or gold hearts. I can't remember. But one thing I love that I love about these pens is that if you ink it today, it can last like the ink can last for like two years in there. There's no spillage, there's no evaporation or whatever. So that's like one good thing about it. It's probably the best thing about it. Because um, I hate how my other pens, like if I don't use them for a little bit, like I decide to use it again, I have to re-ink it. But I really don't mind, I get to play with them. So anyway, let's go with this one. This is the black gold. It's the same pen, it's just different color. So, yeah. Um, this has a pink ink as well, like I said earlier. This um, seems to write more fine than the other one. I swear, I could totally feel it. I'm very particular <laughs> with how fine my pen writes. Because um, I have been a pen lover since I was a little girl. What's the name of this pen? Um, Black Rose Gold. So yeah. Um, I don't read the specs, the whatever information about it, details or whatnot. I just like, um, I'm very visual with everything. I think that's, that's the artist side of me. But um, the way I know if I like it is after writing with it. So that's just how I am. But yeah, this is extra fine. Wait, I didn't read that. Um, and it's inked with Hiroshizuku. Hold on. Hana Ikara Cherry Blossom Petal. The other one's Fall Cherry Blossom. So I just got both um, inks because I don't have plenty of pink ink, so I need it. As far as I, as far as what my brain is telling me, I need it. <laughs> so now we move on to the Twisbees. I love my Diamond Twisbees. This is Rose. It came out years ago, and I'm so glad I was able to still get it. So this is the Twisby. Oh, gosh. That is, like, I don't know, super flowy ink, I guess. Because I, I might be wrong. This ink might be dry ink or wet. I, I don't know, but it's really flowy. Twisby Diamond... Oh, this is, I just remembered what this is. The Ferris wheel press, the Sherry's Nada. The 580AL. Oh, crap, okay. Rose, extra fine. Love the way that writes. And look at that ink. And see how I always fill my ink like all the way through. I love it like that. So yeah, that's that. Oh my gosh. Look at the shading on that. Hold on, let me show you. You have to see this. You have to, sh oh, you can't see it. Oh my gosh, you can't see it on camera. But the shading on this ink is just so gorgeous. Well, I have a video on that. Um, swatching video um, with that ink. So, if you want to check that out so you can see the ink. So, this is the Twisby. What did I ink this with? I think this is a green. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I think I know what this, uh, this one is. I think this is the Dominant Industry ink.
um rbt this is called r b t i think hold on yep it is so red blue and what is t red blue something red red blue tea <laughs> I don't know, but I was told it's red blue. So I didn't really do any research, but as long as they write really beautifully and I love the way they write, I'm good. So now that is, see, I'm right. It's a dominant industry. Fisherman at sea. It's a standard ink. So, yep. Love that green. What, what's your favorite color ink? Please tell me. I wanna know, I'm curious. Cause me, look at, like I have more green inks in, on this paper than any of the other ones. I have a few pinks. Yeah, but it's mostly green. What if I do this? Mm, okay, there you go. All right, now we have, I only have, these left, but only two are inked. So now we do the saffron. Um, I'm going to write the other ones with the other two pens. This is the color verse ornament yellow. I remember it, yay. Twisby Eco, is this an Eco T? Eco T. Saffron. Extra fine. So the ink is color verse ornament yellow. There you go. Um, I can't, I could barely see the shimmer to that ink. Let me see. Close up, you can see it. Not so much, but whatever. I might change the ink in this pen. Oh crap, this is empty. <laughs> this is the cerulean blue, and it's not an eco tea, it's just eco. So, Twisby. And I believe this has a dominant industry ink. Wait, I feel like there's something on the net. Just be eco. Did I spell that right? Yep, I did. Extra fine. And this is a limited edition pen. I have a feeling that I might change the ink in this pen and this one. I just have a feeling. But I am going to write the name of these pens with different with a different pen. I'll just use this one. So what is it? Oh, actually, Twisby. Oh, I have to tell you what ink the other one has. Eco T Clear. Extra fine. So, um, the Cerulean Blue has. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's not here. Wait. I already did this. So it, that. Lay, filet, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's pearl. It's 0 0.028 pearl, and that's the name of it. Okay, don't make me say it, because I'm not going to say it right. So now heat. That's heat. Is a, that's not an eco tea. See the difference between the eco tea. This has that shape and this has that shape. So yeah. And that is Ooh. 
Nico. He. Extra fine. And my allergies have gone bad. So I think that's all the pens now. Now let's look at everything. So I just put everything in this tray. Now, let's count all the pens. I hope I got everything. Wait a minute. Okay. <clears throat> let's count it. Let's count it on my list first. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. And yesterday I counted 33. So I'm confusing myself. But I feel like, does this look like 33 pens? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 34! What am I missing? What am I missing on here? The mint. Mint. The mint. Blue. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe it's not on here. That's why. So um, this is me. Um, I feel more organized knowing what I have. Mint blue. It's here. So I don't know what's wrong. What did I miss? <clears throat> All right. Well, this will be the truth teller counting what's in the tray. All right. So let's start with these. The Twisby. Ecos. One, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So it's really 34 then. All right. <clears throat> so I guess I did not write um, the mint blue pen on this long list of pens um i am just putting everything back in the tray hopefully you talk to me in the comments if you enjoyed the pens watching and the pen talk and all that stuff and please do have a great day and take care of yourself and don't forget know your worth and love yourself hopefully you stayed until the end and thank you so much for listening for watching, for subscribing, for liking my videos, and for your support. And I hope we get connected. Thank you so much again, and have a wonderful day. Bye.